Yeah. And I don't go vote for Tinubu. I don't go vote for Atiku. Who do you vote for? Hey, who do you give me money? I will collect that. Hey! That's so. Who do you vote for? Who do you vote for? Eh! Eh, Baba Nambra. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. It's been a while. Thank you guys for always coming back to watch uh, my videos. I do appreciate you. Uh, if you have not subscribed to this channel, kindly uh, click the subscribe button. Leave me a comment, do like and share this video if it resonates with you. So guys, let's jump straight into the video. This. What they have now ice cream. He melts quick. You get me? They are yeah, yeah people. Atiku, where we make them send a president? Abba, you sell this, you sell that, assets, our commonwealth, our patrimony. Everything that we have, man. Hey, hey, my people. We just watched that clip. When was Atiku ever this a Senate president in Nigeria? When was Atiku Senate president? It is obvious that Tinubu has dementia. What are the symptoms of dementia in the first place? Meta decline. And that is what is happening to Tinubu at the moment. Confusion, thinking abilities, these are some of the symptoms of dementia. Forgetfulness, disorientation. And that is what, we are, that is, what is playing out in the case of Tinibu. And yet, they keep pushing him. You see him saying things out of point, out of contest. They keep clapping for him. They keep pushing him. Not because they, are, not because they care. These people are hungry politicians who are just after their own pockets. I pray that the case of Nigeria will not be like that of Cameroon. Where the president has serious dementia. The people of Cameroon, they don't even see their president. They don't even know whether he will be president for years. So guys, let's watch this clip and I'll be right back. Please move closer. It looks like the president of Cameroon, Paul Bia, is suffering from memory loss. The man was at the U.S.-Africa summit last month, and he had no idea where he was or why he was there. I think he has dementia, and it happens to the best of us. Nobody is making fun of him. He will be 90 next month. He has lived a long life. Nobody is making fun of his health challenges. But those who surround the man clearly don't have the fear of God. I don't think they really care about the man. Otherwise, he would have stepped down a long time ago. The whole world doesn't need to see him being embarrassed. He's embarrassing himself and Cameroon. On the world platform, it shouldn't be. She am that. She came to say she am very sorry. the man this So my people, we just watched that clip from Adeola, and uh, talking about the president of Cameroon. That dementia started from. A place is just the way Tinibu's own is glaring now, and it will keep de depreciating. It does not improve; it keeps depreciating. So that is what is happening. That is what is playing out in Cameroon. You see the people around this president, the president of Cameroon, they still packaged him and took him to to the, to the that U.S. summit. Can you imagine how? They disgraced him, disgraced the country. What is happening to Africa? Africa should wake up. We cannot keep disgracing ourselves. A country of over 200 million people, they are still trying to package Tinubu. If APC had brought up somebody like, like uh, the, the vice president, like Yemi Osibajo, if know that Tinubu ring, ring this way, if it's Yemi Osibajo, at least we know that APC had, has a candidate. But as the way it is right now, as it is at the moment, APC does not have a candidate. 
Watch this clip, guys, and I'll be right back. Our presidential candidate, Al Bola Ahmed Tinubu, did not say all those words people were now claiming he did. He didn't say it. Based on what was said in Abel Kuta Ajia, do you understand the Yoruba that was spoken there? Because now you are saying nothing of such was said. Egbo Yoruba. Very good. Do you understand the meaning of Wogbo Wokpamo? Wogbo Naira Pamo? Wogbo Naira Pamo? Wogbo Wokpamo? They use money to quench fire. OMG. So guys, we just watched that clip. We don't want a president that they have to come out to keep interpreting what he says. We don't want a president that people are, they have to have special people who interpret whatsoever he says. We don't want that kind of president. We want a president who is coherent. When he speaks, everybody should understand what he's saying. We should not start translating or that people, people are fighting for him and covering for him. His people, his, the, uh, the, uh, the political uh, tyrants all over Tinubu. Come, coming up to say, no, he did not say this. That is not how he said it. No. We don't want that kind of president. We want a president that when he speaks, he will he, he go talk to Ross. We will go hear what they talk. That is the kind of president we want. Nigerians are too brilliant for this. Nigerians are too, 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 way too brilliant for this. They cannot sell Tinubu to Ross because Tinubu is very, very unmarketable. There's no way they have tried to market Tinubu to Nigerians. Nigerians are saying no. So guys, watch this and I'll be right back. Tell me what God has given me. However, I looked at the options in the APC. We, they go to rallies and Asuaju cannot even decipher. He cannot. When I was speaking, to, I sat with him for two hours. Most of the time he was sleeping. You ask him questions on this and he's talking completely different from the topic that you are discussing so how on earth what is wrong with nigerians what is it that you will benefit personally for you to sacrifice over 200 million people so guys thank you so much for watching this video i do appreciate your support i've been off youtube for a while now because of a lot of things that I have in my hands at the moment. I may not be uploading regularly, you know. Uh, but before I stop or put an end to this video, I want to say that uh, I live in Texas and we have a governor. Our governor is Greg Abbott. Greg Abbott had an accident when he was 26 years old and an oak tree fell on him. So Greg Abbott, the, the governor of Texas, is on a wheelchair. So, but he is saying it not it is on a wish because of that accident. He is completely saying his meta head is hundred percent. So this is not as if people are mocking Tinibu, but the issue is that he has head issues. He had challenges, head challenges, and this is glaring, it's obvious. Why are they still packaging it? Back packaging him to, Ni to Nigeria. This can only happen in Africa. Africa should wake up. Nigeria should wake up. And like I always say, once Nigeria get it right, all other Africa countries will follow suit. We need to give ourselves a name in the scene of this world. We can't just continue like this. So guys, I'm going to thank you so much. I need to, uh, you know, call it a day at the moment. Thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate you for coming around, for stopping by. Uh, if you love my content, kindly subscribe to this channel. Until uh, next time, guys, I love you. Bye.